Hi, Amy. How are you doing? Hi, sir. Yes, I'm all right. Thank you. How are you? Very good. Very good. So how is your course on mechanics going on? Um, it's hard. <laughs> it's definitely a requires a different like um, mindset for me because uh, I find it quite difficult but there are um, obviously our previous lessons on moments and um, the whole resolving forces kind of approach to answering these questions have really helped me especially with the friction stuff right. so um, yeah I was hoping if we could go through a couple questions and see sure. how sure. it goes yeah since you did not take physics right so it's kind of yeah, I didn't. for you yeah but otherwise I think we'll cover up for this I mean I did I, I did physics at GCSE and I found it really hard. Um, but yeah, the, the, the math side I kind of got, like with the equations that were given, is when you got to like other things, like like this stuff, it was yeah. harder. So yeah. Okay, so what kind of question are we working on today? Um, so, oh yeah, so <clears throat> I, I, I did complete some, obviously some of these questions and I just had questions like about the way I approached some of these and I just wanted a clarification on how it's supposed to be done. So there is only like four questions here. Do you think we can, should I select a couple? Because I don't know about the time. Let's begin with the first question. Let's see. How sure. It okay. Mm -hmm. So a small brick of mass 0 0.5 kg is placed on a rough plane, which is inclined to the horizontal um, at an angle of theta, where tan theta is four thirds and released from rest. The coefficient of friction between the brick and the plane is a third. Find the acceleration of the brick. Got it. So first thing first, you have to sketch the diagram, right? So when they say that yeah. inclined at an angle theta of four thirds, right? So that means this is four and that is three, right? So that's the yeah, three, four, five triangle. That's a three, four, five triangle. Perfect. So that is what tan theta is. Now, from mm -hmm. here, you can find actually sine theta, cos theta. So you actually have uh, from this value, as soon as you get this, just write tan theta is equal to Four over three. three, and sine theta will be equals to four over five, four, and cos theta will be equal to three over five. Is that okay? So yeah. straight away, when you get this, you just get because you need basically sine cosine values while solving such questions, correct? All right. You have to resolve the forces in two directions. For that, you need that. Okay. Now. A uh, small brick of mass 0.5 kg is placed on a rough surface. Let's say a brick is here. Okay. Rough surface, which is inclined at this plane and released. So when it releases, it will go downwards, correct? Yeah. It's got a, um, well, a weight of 0 0.5 g downward as well. Yeah. And since it is going downwards, the friction will act against it, right? So, so the friction acts in this direction. Is it okay? The coefficient yeah. friction between the brick and the plane is one by three. Okay, so mu is given to you, which is one by three. I should have written on that side. That was better for us. Friction so, equals mu times r. Yeah. So mu equals to one over three. Okay, now find the acceleration of the brick. This is what you need to find, correct? So how did yeah. you do? Tell me, how did you approach? Um, so what I did is I found the normal reaction first by doing 0 0.5 g cos theta um, and cos theta we found was three fifths. So when you multiply that all out, I got 2.94. Then what I did was I so, found. Okay, slow, slow. So what oh, was the, sorry. okay, okay. So what was the normal in this case? I'll write um, 2.94. So N, let me write down here now, N. How did you find 2.94 again? Uh, 0 0.5 g cos theta. 0.5 g cos theta. Which gives you? Cos theta is 3 5 times 9.81, correct? Times cos theta, which is 3 by 5, correct? Yeah. And that gives you how much? 5, 5. 2.94. Correct. So Newtons. Okay, that's fine. Then what I did was... Um, because it's released from rest, it's like you said, it was going to go downward. So I tried to, I, I labeled the downward kind of force as um, Y, just mm. a random letter, and said um, 0 0.5 G sine theta will give me that value. Mg sine theta, right? So that is what you're saying. Okay, so that is this value, correct? And then to find the friction, 
Oh no, two, yeah. Oh wait, what did I do? I did F equals MA. Um, but now I'm looking at it again and I think I've done a mistake because I haven't even used mute. Okay. I need to use so the friction. friction force. That is a friction which is resisting, right? So that friction force is acting against it, right? Which is mu R or not. Yeah. I'll so it's that times 2.94. Let me write R here, the action, right? And we'll, you'll get confused with N Newton and this, right? So R. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. So better R. So mu R, you have to subtract from this force, which is going downwards. And mm. net force using the Newton's law, MA is the net force, correct? Right. So basically, you write F equals to MA, right? And uh, the force is the net force, which is Y minus mu R. Is that clear to you, right? Yeah. So you calculate that Y minus mu R is MA and MM cancel everywhere. So you don't really have to multiply all those things. Oh, that? right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so let's rewrite this as... That's helpful. <laughs> MA is uh, equal to uh, Y. Y is 0 0.5. I prefer to write half, right? MG sine theta. Okay, sine theta I'll write as a value. Maybe tan theta will get. Sine theta is 4 over 5. Okay, uh, 0.5 was mass, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, mass, we'll cancel mass. Okay, minus mu, which is uh, 3 by 1 by 3 mu. And R is 0 0.5 times G times 3 by 5. Do you see that? So important yeah. here is do not do early calculations and get those decimal values. Don't do it, okay? Oh. So okay. mass, just cancel the mass. I wrote 0. 0.5. Just cancel the mass, right? And so you get some better values to work with. Is it okay? You have to only find A. On the right hand side is thrown to you, correct? Right, right. So it's easy, not bad. So, oh, so can I, uh... A is equal to, you can take G common, right? You can take G common and then 4 by 5 minus 4 by 5 minus 3, 3 cancel, 1 by 5. Wow. So this is nice G, G times, yeah, yeah. So 4 minus 1 is 3, right? So 3 over 5, correct? Now put in the value and find acceleration meters per second squared. Is it okay? Oh, five point. Oh, you have to convert the uh, kg is okay. Meters per second squared, right? Yeah. What is the unit? Newton. Oh, there's unit. no unit. Yeah. So meters per second squared. <clears throat> um, five point eight eight. Yeah, that's your answer then. Whatever. So nine point eight. You can write nine point eight one and times three over five. No problems. Six over ten point six. If you multiply, you get so many meters per second squared acceleration. Yeah. Is that clear to you? I just realized. I looked at it. Yeah, accidentally. Um. I didn't use mu r even though I wrote it down. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense now. Okay. Yeah. So not a, not a difficult question, provided you make a neat and clean diagram, try to understand what's going on. All right. So it is moving downwards against friction. That means the downward force is more, right? So mg yeah. sin theta minus mu r, which should be equal to f equals to m a, m m yeah. cancel. Right, so simple calculus, m m m cancel, right? Then you can take your terms common just as we did. Do your calculation at the end because you might land into sometimes some approximations and get a final wrong oh, answer. I see. Oh, I see. Yeah. So you have to write decimal answer, one decimal place. You see that uh, they are giving 0.5 kg. So you have to write answer to one decimal place in the um, round it to one decimal place. So 5.8. Yeah, five point. That is your right. Oh wait, to one decimal place, five point nine. You whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, remember yeah. That. So you write a value. Let's say five point eight. What? 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 Eight. Eight. And yeah. Eight, and then approximate and write five point nine meters per second square. Right. Right. Okay. Simply because we are working on 0.5 kg. Right. One decimal place. That is what what we're trying to do. Is it clear to you? That's clear. Yeah. Real clear this. Okay, next question. I mean, this can be the last one. So, um, oh, yeah, just in time. yeah, <laughs> it'll okay. be this one four. Okay, okay. So, I did get an answer, but I don't know if it's right. 
Mm -hmm. Can you please read the this question? Particle. So a particle P of mass 0 0.5 kg is on a rough plane inclined at an angle of alpha to the horizontal where tan alpha is three over four. Um, the particle is held at rest on the plane by an action of a force of magnitude, magnitude four newtons acting up the plane in a direction parallel to the line of a greater slope of the plane as shown in figure two. The particle is on the point of slipping up the plane. Part A, find the coefficient of friction between P and the plane. Very similar to your previous question, right? Yeah. So again, the same thing. Uh, you so have the mass here. Yeah, I found the normal reaction Correct. by doing 0 0.5 G cos alpha. Cos alpha in this case is um, four over five. Yeah, I should write alpha only. Yeah, not theta, right, whatever. Correct. Yeah, so if tan alpha is three over four, then cos alpha is four over five. Correct. So then you just sub them in and I get, oh, but you said don't get decimal. But these you ones will, were- We'll later cancel them, right? Uh, but in this case, we have four Newton force, so you cannot cancel them. You have to calculate because we are given additional four Newton force, right? We are given the force. Oh, okay. Last yeah, this time. one was a nice number. It's 3.92. Oh, okay. Very good. So particle M of this mass is on a rough plane inclined at this angle where tan alpha is this. Is. Particle is held at rest on the plane by the action of a force of this mass. So it cancels, right? Mg sine theta 4. Acting up the plane in the direction parallel to the line of the greatest slope of the plane as shown in the figure, right? The particle uh -huh. is on the point of slipping up the plane, right? So what does it mean? So held at rest on the plane by the action of force of magnitude four Newton, acting up the plane in the direction parallel to the line of greatest slope of the plane, correct, as shown in the figure. The particle is on the point of slipping up the plane. Find the coefficient of friction between P and L. So you have to find mu, right? So what is mm. mu? So, so I took, um, you know, the, the upwards position where four newtons is going, I took that as the positive direction. And so I did four equals um, F, which will be the friction. Well, I call what? it F max because that's what the book says, just yeah, to yeah, be yeah. specific. Friction. So four equals F max plus 0 0.5 G sine alpha. Yeah, is yeah. that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, because mg sine theta is also acting on this direction. Do you understand? Oh. Both are acting here. So we have uh, mg sine alpha plus mu r, right, is equal to 4. Yeah, so yeah. Both of them are acting downwards, and then you can find mu from here. So mu is basically equal to 4 minus mg sine alpha over r. So yeah. r you calculated, whatever you calculated, right? So 3.92. 2.92. And what was mg sine theta? Um, you can substitute. mg sine theta was 2.94. 2.94. Calculate. Okay. So four minus that over two point nine two zero point three six. Yeah, so that will be your value of mu. Oh, I got a different answer, but um, I understand what you've done, and I if I understand what I've done, so I don't understand where I've gone wrong. So. Basically, you're trying to move it upwards, right? With that force? This yeah, yeah. No, I understand like all the formulas and everything. It's just that I did. Mm, yeah. Right. But I, I did. So I did four equals um, like the friction plus the uh, mg sine alpha. Correct, and I correct. worked through it and find I found the, um, what's it called? Mu R. And okay. then from the mu R, I found um f max well like f max i found so then i just substitute it into mu r and then solved okay so basically there are two parts to it right so first part is find the coefficient of friction between p and the plane correct so yeah. this is your formula for coefficient of friction in this particular case 
substitute the values, use calculator, get your answer. Oh, okay. Right. So the idea is even if you write the formula, and if your calculation is wrong, still you are going to get almost all marks. Oh, okay. Yeah. That is There'll why. Be I, for that. Yes, I don't want you to substitute the values earlier. I want you to write this formula, then substitute all the values. Is it okay? Oh, so instead, that makes of R, sense. instead of R, make write down mg cos alpha. Cos right? alpha. Cos alpha. Do you understand? Got and it. now substitute all the values and get your answer. Simple as that. I see. Okay. It's a safe calculation, but do it after this stage. Just to be safe. Yeah, and get the marks. Get the marks right there. Uh, and then you calculate because. In the test, sometimes you may make a calculation error. Yeah, definitely. You can slip up on the calculator and if you the a calculation wrong. error here, then you'll get an absurd answer, no marks. Right, right. That's risky. Yeah, yeah. So I need to get in the habit of writing like full out. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Basic formula. It becomes simpler. And then the next part is find the acceleration of P <clears throat> down the plane, right? So now you know mu, right? You know mu, yeah. Now it says the force of four Newton is removed. Now you know mu, you found mu, correct? Yeah. <laughs> now the force is removed. You know it's like previous question, F equals to MA, right? Can so, you use the value of mu that you calculated even though the oh, force yes. is removed? Yes, 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 yes. Oh. So you use the value, now you know no mu, right? So. Now, as soon as you remove this force, it is going to move downwards, correct? And yeah. the friction force will go in this direction, correct? In the other direction, right. So as we did last time, so we say force will be now Ma, which is equal to Mg sine theta, or I should write sine alpha, right? Minus, Minus friction. Mu R, mu times Mg cos alpha. Do you see that? That mm. reaction is then be cos alpha, right? Then so you there, sub it in. Now, cancel M's, cancel M's, it is irrespective of this mass, right? Cancel mass. Acceleration is clear to you, which is given to you as acceleration is uh, G sine, G is also common, correct? So we have sine alpha minus mu cos alpha. Is that clear to you? That's your answer. Yeah. Substitute the value. You know alpha is uh, 3 over 4, right? <laughs> you know sine cos, all the values. Substitute them and get your answer. Right. Fluid units, meters per second squared. Mm -hmm. That's really clear. That's how you have to do all these questions. You should not have any difficulty in these questions. Thank you, sir. I think that makes a lot of sense now. Yeah. So it's just knowing which way the bowl is moving or particle and in terms of which one you're subtracting from what. Yeah. It's yeah. because I, I think the mistakes I made um, were because I wasn't writing out in full like you did. Yeah, and yeah. I substituted immediately, so I lost up. Right. But yeah, yeah, that's really that helpful. is so true. If you keep seeing mg sin theta, mg cos theta, it makes sense to you. But if really, you have yeah. number 3.494, 3.92, you'll get lost in those numbers. They will not make right. sense to you, right? That's really clear. Yeah, yeah, so true. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start getting, getting that habit of writing out the full formula, and then I'll sub right. in later. Right at, at the end. At the we'll end. Yeah. At the end. So this is the result, right? Now substitute all these things which you know and write down whatever calculate. Sometimes right. that error may happen, but still the not you get marks. Marks. The yeah. not marks. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So we have to play the game. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you great. so much, sir. That was really, Thanks. really helpful. My pleasure. Okay, then have a great day. Bye. And you, sir. Bye, sir. Bye. Thank you.